Well, the brand new Shadow Society collection event is out today. And we're also live streaming for a short time right now if you want to come watch. But today, we're not only talking about players playing the brand new patch, we're also talking about some news that came out after the patch was released. And then one of the biggest news stories that happened last night while you were asleep, you've probably seen it on my main ALGS channel by now, and that is the fact that they decided to run the North American Regional Finals for the esports scene in secret. That's right. There was no news coverage. There was no live stream. There was none of that. Now, there will be some sort of broadcast today but the results are in the results are final and if you haven't seen my AL gestion already well spoiler alert tsm wins but there was a lot of good opinions and honestly valid concerns that came out after the fact that i really wanted to bring attention to so after i had reported what exactly went on there were many comments like the following saying it was pretty wild but i guess they didn't have faith in their fix and human said so it doesn't look like they fixed the issue at all and then neb fps said why play it offline if respawn really fixed their security issue i'm so confused are they scared or did the security update mean absolutely nothing? Another popular Apex creator named Burno said the cheater situation has never been worse before in Apex Legends. Number one, the ALGS and pros got hacked. Number two, ALGS was having to be played in secret because obviously they were still fearing that this thing might happen again. Number three, every ranked game has two plus cheaters and there's endless six mans going on right now as well. The anti-cheat devs saying they are doing all they can and their work slash band numbers is higher than ever. And I believe them, but this just means that the anti-cheat in place plus funding plus size of dev team is not good slash not big enough and ea we know you don't care but you've got to do something also saying this is me asking but due to algs being played in secret does that mean that respawn doesn't know what happened or how to fix or prevent it this is an honest question and is the game safe and i know i've beat this a lot but that's what the fans want to know is this game safe to play reddit was soon to get also aggravated saying today a lifeless heirloom gets added and last night respawn was unsure about the security playing the na final so they did it in secret long story short is we are overdue for some answers and honestly i do think their concern is very valid why do this in secret if you actually fix the problem and if you didn't fix the problem does that mean our information is still at risk does that mean that this game is still not safe although they have come out to say that they did this little update and all this stuff is going to be safe and secure with these layered series of updates i really wish that they would come out today or anytime and just specifically address yes the game is safe no the game is not safe the fact that they haven't done that really makes me worried and then on top of that they release these updates but they still are afraid to do a live stream of the tournament so they do everything in secret to try to avoid the hacker yeah that's definitely pretty comforting now thankfully the hacker did stay away from the situation and the tournament was able to be completed last night but it has seemingly gone away from i'm just a good guy hacker trying to show the problems with apex so that they fix it to some really nasty stuff rogue had tweeted out that destroyer was bamboozled and the al just regional finals went on without him interfering but he's just constantly posting my address and dosing me i don't know if he meant doxing and like one commenter said so much for he's not malicious and just did it for fun i don't know man they just really got to do something about this guy because it worries me to see ea and apex feeling like they can't go public on a live stream to do their own stuff without getting hacked it's like they're afraid of the hackers so they got to go in secret i mean did we fix the issue or did we not they've got twitch rivals coming up in three days and i feel like they would definitely need to know an answer by then because it wasn't just that if you were remember the hacker actually had said that he gifted all of these packs to you know imperial how jen burton mandy and all these other people and they were able to open those packs on their accounts as well well hypermissa tweeted that the gifting requirements are going to be changing this update also from level 10 to level 50 and you have to wonder did they do this because of the hacking situation where the guy was able to gift all these packs was he using an exploit to get around this i'm not confirming for sure this is the motive behind making this change i'm just saying that if it is a case of all of this stuff where it's like instead of fixing the real issue of how he was able to gift all these packs how he was able to get into their accounts and all we do is like raise the minimum level cap so that he can't do it or that it's harder for him to do it we got a big problem and if we're playing things in secret because we're afraid he can still hack us then yeah we still got a problem those aren't really the proper ways to go about fixing this but i guess it's also last minute and they felt like they needed to do it before the update so that was just desperate measures but of course that's not the only information in today's news we did have the brand new update come out today and yesterday we actually discussed what this game mode was going to look like how long term i think it'll be and what the content looks like for this update and i do think the overall concept of this game is really really nice it's kind of like a four-way hard point and i do think that apex is genuinely going in this direction of having all of these branched out modes where it's kind of like a titan 
Moonfall built into an Apex instead of launching a brand new game. But then you also have people going in to look at what the future of Apex is going to be since this update is released. So Hypermist had put out that there was an Octane Mythic skin that would be coming soon. And honestly, I thought it looked pretty cool at first. And I do think it looks all right, but it's definitely not my favorite skin. But maybe you guys will definitely like something like this. Now, what I really, really like is what Crow Rindo had put out. Crow Rindo put out one of the coolest prestige mythic skin finishers I have like ever seen. it was really really sick so you can see it on screen now it honestly is like one of the coolest things it's probably like a mortal Kombat type finishing honestly it's just really sick now there's also a new mythic dive trail as well and i think it's all right i guess but i just don't think this is like a big selling factor or anything like that Now, lastly, a little bit of an update since I recorded my ALGS video earlier. I know a lot of these communities are mixed together and it is kind of a generic Apex update as well. The esports side did come out with an official update a couple of minutes ago saying you may have seen the results, but you probably haven't seen our secret series yet. You can tune in tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern if you guys wanna watch all of the games that actually happened last night in the finals. So definitely interested to see how these games play out, but it was another comment from the same person trying to get an answer regarding the whole security risk of this game saying, you know, is this game held in private because the game's still at risk do we need to be afraid trying to get an answer and we're just not getting that answer and i don't think we are going to get an answer anytime soon there was a response from dark lord of the rednecks that said they couldn't push the full security patch without meta changes because apparently the security patch was in today's update so who knows if they actually made even further of this layered series of updates that they said they would have but maybe today's patch got a little bit more of an update on that as well now you guys cannot say that i'm not a grinder i'm currently on my phone to add this part in because respawn did eventually come out to say that they added this new update with a further level of protection for players now they still have not given us the answer is the game safe but but they are making some strides to make that possible so interested to see what you guys think now what is super interesting and i really hope this turns out to be true ag420 had put out that there was a new leak it seems like that there's something called cups now in apex i don't know exactly what this is but i would love to see like he said if it's going to be like the fortnite cash cups you guys remember back then where fortnite was hosting these weekly five thousand dollar tournaments and such and a lot was going on and honestly i feel like this would bring a lot of people back into the scene personally it would definitely make me more involved into apex and i really hope to see it and i hope it's really true but you can see on screen what really sells me the most on this is not just the keyword cups but it's where you can see cups match history cups leaderboard game mode select apex called cups and i'm not taking credit for any of this of course apex does their own things but i have been fighting for this new mode and this new change for the longest this time maybe apex finally listened to me i don't know let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below about all the topics mentioned in today's video and how do you think the future of apex plays out here i'm interested to see what you guys have to say and until the next time we'll see you all later gators